Hey guys, so we have our Spectra S1 breast pump and this has the problem that it doesn't really properly want to charge the battery anymore. So we always see here just the lowest bar uh, blinking when you have it plugged in. And so in this video you want to take a look at how to replace the battery and also why in my case this actually didn't fix the problem. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. So first uh, part that we do, first step that we do is remove the four big um, Phillips screws that are here on the bottom of the device. So we're going to use a decent size uh, Phillips screwdriver, remove all those screws. Okay, so when the battery suddenly started to not want to charge anymore, I be immediately believed that, that the battery is the problem. So I didn't do any further research and I just bought a replacement battery. And uh, so now I'm going to show you how to replace the battery, but before you start ordering any new parts, I suggest that you first do the following check here. So when we open up the device, then we have here the PCB board on the top of the, or on the top half of the housing and then the bottom housing. We find here the uh, black box, that's the pump itself. And then here this blue part here, that's the battery. So this is uh, screwed in here with this bracket. And now the first thing that I should have done was to disconnect the battery from the PCB and then measure the voltage of the battery. So uh, you can check the uh, specifications for this battery. That says here it goes from 9 volts to 12.6 volts. And what I measured was just around 12 volts, which means that the battery is completely fine. I didn't have to buy a new one. I didn't have to replace this one. Uh, but I found that out after the fact because I just didn't check. And a different thing that I found out by browsing a whole lot of different uh, message boards on the internet is that this is a very common problem. And this appears to be an issue with the charge controller, which is located on the PCB. So in order to fix the problem with the battery not charging, you would have to change out the PCB. So, And I was not able to purchase a new PCB other than purchasing a whole new breast pump. But now back to actually replacing the battery. So the first problem I had was that the original battery was not available for purchase anywhere. The only place where I actually found it was when I was talking to the company Motoma, who's making, who's producing this battery, they would have been able to ship me batteries, but not just one. They didn't really want to just ship me one from China uh, to the US. So I did find a similar, something similar replacement, which is same specs. Other than that, this the replacement by replacement here has a little bit higher capacity, so eventually the pump would even uh, work longer, or would be able to work longer before I had to recharge it. So in case you're also looking for the similar battery, then I'm going to put a link, an Amazon link here in the uh, comment section and the uh, video description below. Now you will notice that the plugs on the original battery and the replacement are not the same. So they're a little bit uh, different shape and size. Uh, so we need to replace them, or we need to reuse the one from the original battery. So you have the red one, that's the one that we want to reuse, the white one from the new battery. We're just going to cut that one off. Uh, but when you do make those cuts, make sure not to cut both wires at the same time. So the red and the black here at the same time, otherwise you will make create a short and this will damage the battery. It will get very hot eventually, uh, catch fire. So just cut one single wire at a time. Then I'm going to remove some of the insulation on the wires from the uh, the one with the connector that we're going to reuse and then we're going to do the same thing with the uh, new battery here and uh, so right now i'm going to in this video i'm going to actually cut both wires uh right after after the other and uh, thinking about it i should have just cut one wire and then connected that one to the new to, to the reused cable and then cut the second wire but uh, in this case i just cut the two wires in different length just to make sure that the uh, contacts or the cables are not going to touch each other and would create a short. Now connecting the wires together I'm going to just take start with the red one the red wires I'm going to twist those together and uh, well I have a lot of people mentioning that they don't have a soldering iron uh, so they can't usually follow my steps the, the way that I do it uh, so in this video I'm just going to show you how you can potentially connect these wires together without a soldering iron. So I'm just going to first twist them together and then next I'm going to take a, a hot glue gun and I'm just going to uh, put the uh, wires just 
just douse them in, in glue. Uh, that way they're going to be hopefully forever uh, isolated and they won't be create a short. And then of course I'm also, well I'm doing, doing this with both with the red and the black. And then of course I'm going to add some uh, electrical tape that I'm going to uh, put wrap around there just to make sure that uh, these uh, connections don't open up and create a short over time. So a safer way of doing this, of course, would be using some of these wire connectors you can see here in this image. Uh, this would make it really easy, comfortable and safe. So I'm going to paste a, a link, an Amazon link here in the video description below in case you want to purchase some of those. Now, since our replacement battery has a different shape, we are not able to uh, reuse that plastic bracket that comes here originally with the uh, Spectar S1. Uh, so I'm have to improvise a little bit here. So I'm going to uh, take this foam piece that was on the bottom, originally on the bottom of the battery. I'm going to uh, glue that in here this time. Originally, this is completely loose. It's just floating around in there. Uh, so I'm going to first glue it here to the housing and then I'm going to also add some glue here to the battery and uh, so that I'm going to basically you know, glue the battery in here and then the uh, second or uh, second and third touch point with the uh, housing would be here on the top I have uh, additionally uh, some additional foam pieces that I'm going to use to uh, glue this on here so I'm using the foam so that you can absorb some of the vibrations that are caused um, by just moving the breast pump or by the by using it. And I'm also, I'm not gluing this battery to the uh, black box here because the black box that's the that's the pump. So that's going to vibrate like crazy and just vibration is just not good for a battery. Okay, so then last step is here. Then of course to reconnect the uh, wire, the battery here to the uh, PCB. And then last thing we have to do is close the lid, make sure it uh, sits right. And then of course you put all the four Phillips screws back in on the bottom. Now if you just try to uh, turn on the uh, breast pump just right now as it is, then you're going to notice that it won't turn on. Uh, so that seems to be normal. Your first, The first thing you have to do is plug in the charging cable first, so to somehow activate the whole device. So you see, uh, it's going to show that the battery is being charged. And then also we can now, from this point on, also uh, turn on the uh, S1 breast pump uh, with the cable connected, with the charging cable connected and with it disconnected. Okay, yeah, so um, that was already it for this video. Hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.